That's dope. Okay, here goes. Here next is Tony Kronk's hate mail. Transgender hate mail. Homosexual hate mail. Atheist hate mail. Basically, a bunch of screen mail. Me reacting you know, to a bunch of screen caps of comments that were posted on the YouTube and even aren't usually. Uh, in response to comments I made against these deviant lifestyles. Uh, trigger warning, whereas I feel for vagina uterus, ovaries, testicles, and vulva will be used in these videos. I am a Bible-believing Christian, so what I say may take you off. The people say that God is evil. No, no. They got that. Uh, they are Christian, but they don't use the, uh, they don't believe in the Bible. They don't use the Bible. But this really messes them up. And what they say may take you off. The people say that. The people say that God is evil, which is wrong, or God does not exist, which is wrong, and what they say may take you off. Uh, I have a bunch of screen caps on my screen, over, big screen over here, but I want to be showing you them because... Uh, like in the old hate show, because my brother has informed me that they can be considered evidence of harassment, meaning when uh, someone says it's posting content that they want to end it all because they don't like the way their body looks or sounds or what normal biological function it does, like with that you, I forgot I had those bull crap, that, well, comments, and I say there's no need to do that. Here are the, the biblical reasons, why, the scientific reasons why I believe that. Here are the biblical reasons why I believe that. They can say that's harassment because they're not thinking straight, and people can believe them because they're also not thinking straight. Also, uh, yeah, no names or icons talked about. Uh, it's different in certain cases, like with a heckler, a heckler on DeviantArt, says he's a girl now because he got his penis testicles removed and what le what was left uh, shaped to look like a vulva. It will never be a vulva. It was a huge waste of time for him to do that. Uh, he basically has the, you know, a, uh, place DeviantArt uh, placeholder thumbnail mm, there and one piece of art mm, on his side, on his one art post on his DeviantArt page because he just made that dummy dummy page to uh, hate on people and make up all kinds of, of lies about them, you know, to try to mess them up because they're, they're going against his lifestyle. You know, other than stuff like that, I will not be mentioning names or icons because it's not about who said what, but what people who believe like they say and why I must find it saying against it. Hey, here's this person right here. Uh, and I'm going to go over here. Uh, basically, this person saying trying to compare uh, braces and glasses to transitioning, which is lying. It was wrong because braces and glasses uh, actually fix things, mm -hmm. you know, transitioning is lying about what biological sex you are and trying to look like the stereotype, typical other biological sex so that you can basically trick people into treating you the way you want them to treat you, mm -hmm. you know, they get to the point where they do surgery, you know, which is damaging your body and hormones, which is poisoning your body to death and uh, it doesn't work and eventually they, they, they end up in it all or you know, die or something like that. It's not, it's not cool. It's not cool. So yeah, you know, different story. Uh, but let's see. What does this person say? Uh, again, religion is a dumb argument when arguing against someone who isn't religious. Because I say it is. Because mm -hmm. I say it is. Uh, yeah. Well, the reason why we're not religious is because the really people religious people keep saying that we're doing wrong and we don't like hearing that. So we're going to ignore that fact mm -hmm. and just just yeah mm -hmm. ignore that fact and just say that, that we're right mm -hmm. and continue on with our lifestyle. That has killed a bunch of people, but we're not going to say, you know, mm -hmm. we're going to focus on the fact that they're happy for a little bit before they die. Mm -hmm. So let's go. And then someone says, uh, this person says, uh, I guess someone who's a religious, all shows me that you have no logical or objective arguments, you know, to me. Mm -hmm. person who hates religion because it says what we're doing is wrong. And, you know, millions of people have died from this stuff, but uh, no, I'm going to keep doing it. Mm -hmm. Maybe I won't. <laughs> you don't know. <laughs> you know. I just, and I say, it is sad that you hear you that you'd rather die than live a normal life based on truth. You might want to figure out why that is, <laughs> you know. And someone says, "Hero Cox, a normal life based on truth, dude. Just let trans people live. Holy stuff! I don't cuss because I got rid of that word. No, live. Yes, I let them live, but in better lives. A lie, not in lies. And the reasoning is that it's literally impossible for me. Everyone else trans person to be happy without presenting themselves lying." About the gender they identify with, lying, mm, lying. Mm, mm, yeah, it is very, it is possible to be happy. Yeah. Logically, the better option in that scenario is to lie. Mm, no, it's not. It's to tell the truth. Mm. Work on a better kind of happiness. Mm, continue on here. There goes death rather than years one years of suffering or learning how better yet learning to live a better a better life with truth instead of lies. I also love that you ignored my other comments since you had no argument against that laughing my butt off. Mm -hmm. And I say only by defective logic. The reality is that sometimes dreams do not come true, and the best thing to do is let the apostle dream go and dream a better dream. Like learning to accept your body as is and act what you want to act. Mm -hmm. you know, go. And someone says, and I say, actually, there is no difference. It's all fear and it's all wrong. And someone says, okay, comfortable in the skin. And I say, I, yep, I'm comfortable in the skin because I choose to be. Mm -hmm. When you have both, I oh, like, thank you, just thank you. And I say, oh, someone says, well, some people aren't. Mm -hmm. 
You know, aren't comfortable. You know, too bad. You know, and I say, if you aren't comfortable in life, then welcome to reality. They will always be discomfort in life. You must get used to it. Mm -mm. And someone says, how do you not understand this? If a woman cuts her hair short and binds her chest because he says she is a man, then he is a man. No, she's a woman lying about being a man. Mm -mm. It might not be because he's getting bullied. Mm -mm. It might be that because that he's getting bullied or she's getting bullied. You're not trans. Don't say that. You don't need to change your body to be happy stuff. Mm -mm. Yes, yes, I'm going to continue saying that. Because uh, some people do mm, not, mm, you know, actually no one needs to. So shut up. Mm, like, no. And I, and I say, actually, when a woman cuts her hair short and binds her breasts, and says she's a man, she is lying. Mm, <laughs> and now she'll be afraid if you will find out the truth. A waste of time. Stick with the truth instead. She is a woman, and that is also a unique individual. So she's different than other women. Mm, mm. So it says, this for you is real, yes, and dangerous. Mm, so you have to fight against it. And I say, true, it is also evil. It must be resisted like any other fear. Mm. And so it says, they stop saying that people don't need to transition to be happy. You're like, no. Resisting, aka lying, is hiding your body's biological sex. It's not resisting fear. It's giving into it. Resisting it, this fear involves accepting your body as it is. Mm. Mm. And someone said, oh, yeah, we're here. My best friend got a huge secret for me. Oh, story booth, sorry, where a girl, first boy's ovaries, is talking about how her friend, you know, there's around 12 years old, meets a friend around the same age uh, who she thought was a girl, but turns out to be a boy who's lying about being a girl. Mm, you know, they're going through puberty. Yeah, basically, 12 years old, around that age, going through puberty. You know, bodies are changing. You know, it's a very turbulent time for people. Okay, for these kids. Okay, and she you know, basically, yeah, so he is dealing with it wrong. Okay, he's dealing with it wrong. They're learning to live. You know, starting to accept his body as is, he's trying to reject his body. He's trying to say he's a girl when he's born with testicles. Mm -hmm. So, bad make mistake. Uh, but she's like, "What's wrong with you?" Know, she's saying when she found out, she's saying, "What's yeah, I, I, he's, he's, I, he's my friend. I don't care if he's a boy or a girl. He's my friend." I'm like, "Okay, that's great." But then she says, "What's wrong with him dressing up like a girl and saying he's a girl?" I'm like, "That's lies." Mm -hmm. You know, she has to stop. He don't no, stop. She, he has to stop. Mm -hmm. He has to stop. Mm -hmm. Gotta say the right for now. Let's continue. On. What's next? Got it. And it says, Jade doesn't look like any other girl. Isn't that the whole point? Yes. Mm, to lie, effectively. Mm -hmm. And someone says, laughing about it off. She is a girl. No, he's, he's a boy. And someone says, blankety, blank, blank. Mm, la you know, three smiley, you know, laugh, two cry emoji. And someone says, nope. Mm -hmm. Uh, uh, then someone says she's trans she's a girl no he's a boy and I say yeah but that's messed up he should not have to hide his body mm -hmm. uh, someone says her body no he, him. Mm -hmm. feeling like a girl does not make you a girl feeling like a girl does not make you a girl only boy with ovaries does I say and someone says you know, Hong Kong, having a female brain makes you a girl there is no female or male brain mm -hmm. wherever you're born with biological women's body or not that's a fact from my science no it's not mm -hmm. no Science proves that there are male-looking brains and female-looking brains, but it doesn't make up for some male or female. Mm, no. And I, I, I say, actually, the fact through my science that people can have different-looking brains. Only stereotypes, can, stereotypes, <laughs> stereotypes can make one brain look male, one brain look female. True. Go. No. And someone says, some transgender males don't look like a girl. So no, that's not the point. Mm. And someone says, she. You're like, no. Mm, no, the transition makes them a girl. No, it doesn't. Mm. And someone says, here comes. You really, it's been proven by science that people have the genderly assigned brains. No, they don't. Mm. So one might be oh, a bull, in a boy body, but it's a girl brain, or the other way around. Sometimes it's both. Or not. Mm, actually, not. That's a transgender girl. No, it's not. It's a boy. And I say, of course, you stereotypes. What's really going on here is that this boy does not want to be a boy because of what he thinks a boy is. And what he is a girl, he wants to be a girl because of what he thinks a girl is. Mm -hmm. okay. And someone says, you know, he isn't. Yes, he is. Mm -hmm. Stop acting like you're smart because all you're saying is a fact that a male cannot have a woman reductive systems. Yes, so he's not a woman. He can never be a woman, so it doesn't work. Uh, but during transition surgery, yes, they put prosthetic things. And, yeah, big mistake. It doesn't work. Prosthetics are fake. I'm sorry that you cannot accept the fact that it's, 2020, it's 2019, doesn't matter what year it is, and you can't be whatever you want to be now. You can't. Mm -hmm. you know. And someone says, transitioning surgery is a thing, a bad thing. Mm. They take out all the original reproductives, mm, and they can't put anything in because that won't work. Mm. I think you're trying to do transplants now, too, so lol, your opinion won't be true for so long. Stop being so transphobic. Transpho mm. No, it won't work. Mm. You're going to take uh, anti-rejection drugs for something like that. Mm -hmm. Bullcrap. Go. And someone says, some transgender men still have strong male features and structures of hair. Look at an opponent's comment, then my, you're a little confused. And someone says, yeah, lol, I thought you were talking about the girl in the video. Oh, boy. I'm sorry about that. And someone says, anyone, anyone being trans and accepting it and doing their best to truly be themselves isn't hurting anyone. They're not accepting themselves. They're being doing wrong. Anyone, anyone, they're hurting themselves a lot because they're trying to get, you know, basically fantasize stick with the fantasy you know not the reality so i'll so see you guys next time tell me on youtube we are you finally got to the my best friend kept you secret for me stuff mm.